In this week's Parsha, Parsha's Vayera, we see the decimation of a city. Stone and Amora are completely destroyed by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, by God. After the engagement of Avraham Avinu with Hashem, begging Hashem to spare the city if he could find enough tzaddikim, enough righteous people in order to save the city, and Avraham fails to find enough people. So Hashem destroys the city, but right before he does so, he sends Malachim, he sends angels to pluck out one family and to save them. And that is the family of Avram's nephew, Lot. Why? Why was Lot worthy of being saved? Is it simply because he had the right relatives? Is it simply because he was the nephew of Avraham? Or was there something else? Was there something in his own merits that caused Lot to be saved? So Chazal explained to us that if we look at Lot's life, there probably are two possibilities that stand out, and one of them is the reason that he was saved. The first goes back to last week's Parsha. Avraham goes down to Mitzrayim with his wife Sarah, and Avraham is concerned that the Egyptians, because Sarah is so beautiful, the Egyptians are going to kill him, and they're going to take Sarah. So Avraham says to Sarah, please, Sarah, say that you are my sister and not my wife, and that way I won't be killed. Now, Lot at the time went down to Mitzrayim to Egypt with them. And Lot could have opened his mouth and caused a lot of trouble and a lot of aggravation for Avraham and said, that's not true. What do you mean? That's my uncle and that's his wife. Instead, Lot is quiet and goes along with Avraham's direction in which he said to Sarah to say, to be, to, you're my sister. And he didn't object and he didn't tell anyone anything different. And in that merit, we're told by Chazal, Lot was saved in this week's Parsha. But there was another possibility. After all, when the Malachim, when the angels come to visit Lot this week, we see that Lot welcomes them into his home. He tries to give them lodging, a place to stay, and all of the people in Stone, the wicked people, are banging and banging on the doors trying to get into the house, and Lot tries to protect the angels, albeit he didn't protect his own daughters, but he protects the angels. So one wonders that if Lot was Mekayim, the mitzvah, if he fulfilled the mitzvah of Achnas Asorchim, of welcoming his visitors, welcoming guests, and he did that because he learned from his uncle Avraham, so then perhaps that was the merit that saved Lot from stone, from being destroyed in stone. And Chazal say, no, that's not the case. Rabbi Yisrael Salanter explains that although it's true that Lot did fulfill the mitzvah of Achnas Asorchim, of welcoming guests, and he learned that from Avraham, being around Avraham so long. He said there was a distinction between what Lot did and what Avraham did, and that is the following. Avraham had a tremendous amount of sincerity. When he performed the mitzvah of Achnas Asorachim, when he welcomed people into his home, he really meant it. It was part of who he was, part of he and Sarah's very core, very existence. It was their mission in life to help and to give to other people. Lot, however, he welcomed people into his home simply because he just saw Avraham do it. And although functionally people came to his home, so technically he did get a mitzvah, the reality is, is that his heart wasn't in it. There was a lack of sincerity. He did it only because it was something that he saw, but not something that he internalized. Which really is an important lesson for us, and ultimately the reason why Lot was not saved because of this Mitzvah, but because of what he did in last week's parsha, the reason is, is because Hashem wants our sincerity when it comes to performing mitzvahs, when it comes to doing good deeds, when it comes to doing acts which are positive acts for other people. Hashem doesn't want us to simply do it with mediocrity, just simply do it because, eh, that's what we do. He wants us to do it with sincerity. He wants us to do it with heart. He wants us to do it with feeling. And if we do so, then we get the true meaning and the true goal of a mitzvah, which is really to try to perfect ourselves, to make us better people. Because if we just simply do something just because we see it done and it doesn't mean anything to us, then it doesn't make any difference in who we are. It doesn't have a roshim, it doesn't have an impact on who we are as people. The objective of mitzvah observance is to make us better people in life. And ultimately, by doing so, improve the world around us. May we be zoche to be sincere in our mitzvah performance, in the acts of chesed that we perform, and in doing so, 
bring a sense of inspiration and peace to the world. Thank you for listening. Have a good Shabbos.